<laughs> Greetings from the National Audiovisual Institute. I am Ella Airola and this is my colleague Julia Alajärvi. Hi there. In two separate videos, we will introduce you to the instructional principles for inclusive media literacy. The instructional principles serve as a checklist to help you reflect on and find ways to improve your own practice. During the videos, we will ask reflective questions to help you grasp the principles. In this video, we go through the following instructional principles. Find out the guidelines and plan activities accordingly. Reflect on your own activities, attitudes, competencies and development needs. Review your resources and plan your media education within them. Cooperate where possible. Use content and materials that support equality. Find out the guidelines and plan activities accordingly. There are many different laws and other guidelines related to media education and equality. Activities are also guided by a number of different plans. Which of these are binding and which are guiding on your community? When developing your activities, consider existing guidelines and plans. If you have the opportunity to influence your organization's plans, try to develop them to make them more equality friendly. Set both long and short term objectives for media education activities based on guidelines and plans. Open up the relationship between the media education materials that you produce and the used guidelines. Your organization's communication plan is also one of your guiding documents. Seek to develop it in a more equality friendly way based on your experiences and plan your communication according to it. Reflect on your own activities, attitudes, competencies and development needs. Reflective work is a cyclical recurring process alongside other work. Plan places within an activity where you can reflect on your own activities, attitudes, competencies and development needs. However, reflection alone is not lead to change. This requires putting the results of reflection into practice. When in your own work is there an opportunity for reflection or for developing your own skills and attitudes as part of your media education activities. Consider the responsibility of the educator in media education activities and reflect this in your guidelines and approaches to gender and norms. Your own actions and examples have an impact on promoting equal media literacy. As a media educator, be open to encounter, debate and different perspectives. Reflect on the materials that you produce and use and ask yourself whether they reflect the values of your activities. Are your old materials up to date? As a producer and communicator of materials, reflect on your own actions in choosing imaginary and themes and highlighting perspectives and personalities. Review resources and plan media education within them. Aim to allocate sufficient resources to carry out the work. If necessary, look for opportunities to increase your resources. From the point of view of your work community, how can you try to increase your resources? Don't worry too much about existing resources. Go ahead and experiment boldly. 
media education does not necessarily have to be its own separate activity. Instead, you can try to integrate it with other existing activities and different themes. Likewise, equality building communication does not have to be separate from the communication. Media education doesn't always require digital equipment or online access. It can also be delivered through traditional media. If digital equipment is needed but not available or accessible, use borrowed or shared equipment or be creative and make your own. You don't always have to spend resources on producing new material. You can adapt and recycle existing materials for different purposes and for use with different audiences. Collaborating with other organizations can enable you to operate and produce materials with fewer resources. In the next section, we will tell more deeply about the possibilities of collaboration. Cooperate where possible. Consider opportunities for collaboration within and outside your organization. The aim is to avoid duplication of effort, share responsibilities and build on each other's strengths. Collaborative networks help reflect the diversity and change in media culture. Participants' social support networks, such as carers and relatives, can also be part of the collaborative network. Make your activities transparent and reciprocal by discussing, sharing information and reflecting with others. Create space for co-planning. Producing media education materials as collaborative projects is possible and resource-wise. Also make use of your collaborative networks and their different channels for communication so that you can reach different audiences. Who would you like to work with outside your own workplace to promote equality? Use content and materials that support equality. Make clear to yourself the key content of media literacy. What are the key content areas for your target group? Consider different options for implementing media literacy activities that support equal opportunities and consciously choose those that are most appropriate. Take into account new media phenomena in everyday life. Use themes suitable for different target groups as a starting point, such as emotional and interaction skills or sustainable development. Use varied and high-quality materials that support and promote equality and are accessible, motivating and topical. Ensure that the materials are appropriate for your target group. A consistent format for the outputs, for example a photograph or a cartoon, will provide a basis for discussion on even challenging topics. Through communication, make the target group aware of the activities and materials available. Reflect through these questions. Why do you think it is important to promote equality? Which of the above instructional principles do you think is the most important? What strengths do you identify in your workplace for promoting equality? Which people in your workplace can contribute to promoting equality? Thank you for listening. Please remember to listen to the other video as well. <laughs>